never get used to this This is how I want to live Forever we'll be singing like Jesus says, you open up your mouth, you speak my word, you testify for my truth, you share the gospel, and let me back this up by, by miraculous power that could never be denied. And then he said, today, in your hearing, the scripture has now been fulfilled. In other words, you just had a collision with your theology because you're waiting for something that just showed up. See, some of you all in this room are waiting for power that's already here. Some of you in this room are waiting for forgiveness that's already here. Some of you are waiting for healing that's already here. And the Lord is saying, as you are worshiping, I was releasing. God has got a place for you. He's got a plan. I don't care where you are in your life, whatever post, whatever age. No, listen, beloved. He's brought you out to take you in. There's a destination. It's not too late. It's never gone. I'm more excited than I've ever been about what God is doing. Paul, the apostle, he said, if Christ was not raised from the dead, our preaching is in vain and your faith is in vain. So what was Peter and John preaching? What were they teaching? They were teaching the truth that God became a man in Jesus Christ, that he lived the life that you and I should have lived, but we never could, and that he died the death that you and I deserved. And on the third day, he was raised from the dead. He was not just another man. He was God who became a man. 